Equally important as the types of HTTP requests that clients can make are the ways that the server can respond. An important part of that response, in addition to the data that a client might have requested, is something called the response or the status code. And some of these have entered into sort of popular lexicon, like the 404 request that you may have seen, or a 500. Um, but there's actually quite a few of these. I'm not going to talk about all of them, but let's talk about some of the common ones. Um, and they actually break down into a couple of different categories. So there are 200 response codes, there are some 300 response codes, there are 400 response codes, and there are 500 response codes. And so all the 200 start with two. There's actually also some 100 response codes that I'm not going to talk about. Um, by far the most common response, probably online, is a 200. It's not one that you see a lot, um, because what a 200 means is that everything is okay. Um, there's no exclamation point, probably. Um, 200 means the request was satisfied. You send a GET request, the server sends you back the document with the status code of 200, meaning that I found the document and I returned it to you, everything's A-OK. -okay. So that's probably the most common 200-level uh, response code. Um, in the 400 area, probably the most common one is something that's known as a 404. And you may have seen this before. And, and what this means, all of these codes have semantic meaning um, that's defined within the, the, the specification for HTTP. So what 404 means is not found. It means that you requested a resource where the server doesn't know how to retrieve that resource. Um, 404 is a little bit different than some of the other 400 level error codes. So also I, sh I should point these out. So these fall into categories. The 200 level codes are success. The 400 level ones ref are referred to client errors. Um, the 500 level ones all fall in the category of server errors. Those are a little different. And then the uh, 300s are thing when things get moved. So we'll come back and talk about the 300s in a sec. So 400 level error codes, 404 not found is by far the most common that you've probably seen. You've seen 404 pages. Uh, you can easily generate those at most sites by just typing in some sort of gibberish path and seeing what happens. Um, another possibility you get back is something called a 403, uh, which is means that the resource exists, but you are not allowed to see it. So maybe you haven't logged in properly or something like that. 403 forbidden. Um, server errors. So, so the client errors, the forwarder level codes are designed to indicate that your client did something wrong. You requested a page that doesn't exist. You requested a page that you don't have the right access uh, to, to retrieve. The 500 level codes, on the other hand, are there to indicate that the, something went wrong on the server. And uh, a common one that you'll see is a 500, which is an internal server error. Um, and this could mean that there's a, um, there's a bug in the code that's running on the web server when it, that was hit when it tried to retrieve the request. Something's gone wrong. And you might see these sometimes, even at big websites, when something's going wrong. That some part of their infrastructure is down. You go to their website, you get a 500 rather than the page that you were expecting. Okay, so we've got our 200 level codes. There's some other types of 200 level code that are also useful in certain situations. Uh, there was one other one I wanted to talk about. Um, which one was that? That is the, yeah, the 204. Ah, okay, so a 204 is interesting. Uh, a 204 means that uh, the server processed the request properly, but it's not returning you any information. And some, I wonder, like, why is this okay? Um, it's okay because remember that the client can also send what's called a head response, and the head is just asking for the headers. So if I the right code to return for a header response might be 204 because it means, got it, that page exists, but you didn't ask me for the page, so I'm not sending you back any content. I'm just sending the headers. Okay, um, let's talk about the 300 levels if I have any, uh, any room left on the board. So what happens at the 300 level? So 300 level codes are pretty common, um, but you don't necessarily notice them because your browser handles them automatically. And these, uh, some common ones here, are various types of redirects. So a 301, means that a page was moved permanently. And a 301 code is expected to be accompanied by the address of the new location. So you might go to a, a page, the page might not exist anymore. Uh, for example, somebody's moving their personal website from one place to another, but the server is still going to tell you, oh, by the way, I know where you can find that site. Here's a new link. Um, there's also something called a 302, uh, which is similar. That means that the page was moved uh, temporarily. Um, 
So this gives you an example of sort of the language here that we can define just in the space of status codes. Uh, the HTML, HTTP status codes you know, give us a lot of information about problems that might have occurred uh, retrieving the page, errors that might have happened on the server, different places the page might have gone, as well as you know, the most common one happily online, which is this 200 OK, meaning that I got the data I wanted and everything worked out fine.